did lead poisoning bring down the Roman Empire? Well, it's possible. You know, like, take the Romans, for example. Uh, you know, they were booze hounds. And what happens with wine if it goes bad? Well, it can it can turn to vinegar, right? Like you can I thought get... you were about to tell me it turned to lead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different thing. That's okay. the alchemist. Yeah. But wine, you know, it, it can sour, you know, sure. go bad, forms vinegar, acetic acid. Well, they weren't that great of chemists, but... At least they knew this much. If you take the soured wine, which had acetic acid in it. Oh, you, I know about this. Yeah. That lead and, is sweet. And you boil it in a lead pot, you form what's called sugars of lead, otherwise known as lead acetate, which is sweet. And so, you, you know, you have the syrup and you can add it to, to, to wine or whatever. You're adding lead syrup, basically. To yeah. Wine, and, essentially. and we're no longer talking like micrograms per kilogram. We're talking grams per kilogram. You know, there's been a lot of controversy in anthropology about the impact of lead on like the decline or the collapse of the Roman empire but i mean it, those levels of lead i mean the, the, the things we know about rage anger and violence and certainly a lack of good decision making uh, there is some plausibility wow. to you know some of the, the the toxicological effects having anthropological effects on you know these these societies so we don't know for sure but if a population is consuming enough lead things might go south if you find this interesting, check out the longer discussion on our episode about the dangers of lead.